So pumping. Pumping means sending the atoms from ground state to excited state or raising the atoms by supplying uh, some amount of energy uh, to the ground state atoms. It will go to the excited state. This process is known as pumping. So the pumping is of different types. The first one is optical pumping, direct excitation, direct electron excitation, inelastic atom to atom collision, chemical reaction and direct conversion. So the type of pumping can be choosed based on the type of active medium. Active medium is a thing from which we are supposed to produce the laser light. So that is the material, what is, by using what kind of material we are producing the laser light that is known as the active medium. So active medium may be a solid or liquid gas or a semiconductor. By means of all these four, we can produce a laser light. So we can take solid as an active medium, liquid as an active medium, gas or semiconductor. So based on the type of active medium, we have to choose the pumping system. Suppose we will go each one by one each. So what is meant by optical pumping first? So to raise the atoms from ground state to excited state. To raise the atom To raise the atom from ground state to excited state E1 level to E2 level, if we supply a photon, photon means a light energy. So by using photon, the atoms are absorbing the energy, a photon energy and goes to the excited state. We are using a light energy, that's why it is known as optical pumping. A light by using a light, we are pumping the electrons. And second one, direct electron excitation. That means first we will excite the electron by applying a discharge to the high velocities. By applying a discharge, the electron can move in high velocities. So while it is moving in uh, one particular direction, it will collide the atom which is in ground state. Suppose A be an atom like hydrogen or helium or neon anything. So A is an atom. When electron are moving faster and collide with this atom, the atom will absorb the energy and goes to the excited state. That means we are sending the atoms from ground state to excited state. So this kind of pumping is known as direct electron excitation. By using electron, we are exciting the atom. So that is called direct electron excitation. And the third one is inelastic atom to atom collision. Inelastic means due to the collision, there is no loss of energy. So that's why it is known as inelastic process. In this particular process, we can take an atom A and B. We have to take two atoms. Inelastic atom to atom. Two atoms we require. So first we will excite this atom A by colliding with an electron. So atom A will go to the excited state. Now the excited atom will go and collide with the atom B which is in ground state. Now atom B will go to the excited state. So the excited atom B will never be in a higher end position for a long time. While it is coming down, it will produce the laser light. A simple logic is, first we will take atom A. We have to collide the atom A with the help of fast moving electron. Then atom A goes to the excited state. So the excited atom A will collide with the atom B which is in ground state. Now atom B will go to the excited state. So the excited atom B the excited atom B is in excited state now, E2 level. Since this B star will never be in a higher energy level, while it is coming down, it will produce a laser light. So this kind of pumping, excitation, inelastic collision between at two atoms is known as uh, inelastic atom to atom collision. And next one, chemical reaction. By means of some using some chemicals, we can excite the atoms. So just simply we will take a liquid state material, active medium as liquid state and for that one if we add some chemical, if you stir up that one atom will go to the excited state. So while it is coming down we can produce a laser system. 
since by means of a chemical we are exciting the atoms so that's why it is known as chemical pumping so direct conversion so the last one is direct conversion by applying certain amount of energy to the direct band gap semiconductors so this there are uh, some direct band gap semiconductors for that one if we supply the electrical energy directly so the electrons will excite and there is a electron hole pair combination will form due to that electron hole pair recombination due to a process called recombination we can have a some energy will emit and that energy can be considered as a laser since we are exciting this electron and uh, uh, the process recombination means initially the electron is in ground state by supplying energy direct energy to that electron electron will absorb the energy and goes to the excited state now that electron is present here while it is moving from ground state to excited state it really leaves a empty place called hole after some time the electron will come back and occupy its original position so this process is known as recombination the electron which is in excited state will come and join with a hole in the ground state this process is known as recombination due to this process some amount of energy will be released and that energy can be considered as the laser so this process or this exciting the atoms to the excited state is known as direct conversion so these are the different kinds of optical uh, sorry pumpings so by using photon if you raise the atom that is known as optical pumping direct excitation by colliding the atom with a fast moving electron that kind of pumping is known as uh, direct ex electron excitation inelastic if you collide one atom with the another atom then that is known as inelastic atom to atom collision and next chemical reaction if you excite the atom by means of a chemical then that is known as chemical reaction and direct conversion by supplying energy direct electrical energy to the semiconductors nowadays most of the general common occur lasers will based on this direct conversion only suppose if you have a laser light ordinary 30 rupees 40 rupees laser light outside for that one if you switch on if you press a small button with the help there is a battery inside directly you are supplying the energy we are getting a laser light through that one so this is known as direct conversion most of the cases we are using this condition only